Welcome back, everyone. One of the most important decisions that you make in life is deciding who to trust. Trusting the wrong person can result in heartbreak and sometimes irreversible outcomes. So how do we spot a phony before it's too late? Well, we decided this was a good one to dive into in Real Talk. Joining me is the owner of the Green Room Agency, Nisa Green, community correspondent, the lovely Myra Sky, and back, we have author of Finishing Strong, Erica Strong. Yay! Yay. Hi, guys. Hey. Hello. I think that uh, it's probably unanimous that we have all trusted someone that, that we, we shouldn't, shouldn't have. have. Raise Absolutely. your hand if you have. Hello. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two hands. Two hands. Right. And <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> um, it, when you look back, was it that you were young? Was it maybe a, a time in your life? Um, a little bit of everything? Because there are still people at yeah, right, absolutely. right now. Even now. For right. Sure. Yeah, right. So yeah. could, could you um, pinpoint, was it more personal or more career? What would you say? I mean, I think that it takes a minute before you can trust someone. I've always been a guarded person anyways. It takes me a long time to let someone into my like really tight circle. Mm -hmm. But I'm, st you know, you still learn and it still happens. But I'd say that um, it's it's not an age thing. I think yeah. it's going to continue to happen, and you just have to learn and see the qualities quickly in a person that you can't trust, and just decide if you want to have them around or not. Right. right. You right. hope that with age, you, your your uh, trust radar uh, helps it's you zone in a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yes, absolutely. Maybe absolutely. a little bit, right? Yeah. 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 What do you mm -hmm. think, more professionally or personally? Well, for me, it was personal through a divorce. I mean, I thought that you know this guy came in swarming like the the you know the Prince Charming, mm -hmm. and just from that article, it really helped me a lot. When I read it, I had a lot of emotions that, that you know, that I went through with that article mm -hmm. because I went through a terrible time with that divorce because I was so convinced that this was the right person. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, how deep is it when you trust somebody with your heart? Right. And then right. to trust them with your heart, and I had children because this was my second marriage. Right. So he wow. came into a gap that I felt like I needed that um, relationship that cohesive family, that yes. husband, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and he violated my trust. Yes. And, and not, their trust too, and their trust too. Right. Yeah, 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 and wow. that was tough. And that's hard to recover from. That was hard to, re well, it was hard, but I did it. And what made it so hard is because it wasn't just me by myself, it was my children. Oh, right. You know, we right. literally Ouch. lost everything trusting someone else. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Lisa, what do you think, personal or professional? I think both. Mm -hmm. Am I the one that needs the most therapy on the table? <laughs> but no, I, I think both for me. Um, personally, same thing. You, you you fall in love with someone, and you think they're the right person. Yeah. You've, you've given them your trust. Wrong. And then professionally, the same thing has happened. Mm -hmm. And I, it goes back to what Myra said. I don't think it changes because mm -hmm. if you're a trusting person, you're yes. just a trusting, trusting person. person. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. That's not going to change. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, with age and maturity, like yeah. you said, mm -hmm. your trust meter just gets a little bit better. Yeah. yeah. Right. And yeah. you're not stuck in those situations for as long. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. the most we can yeah. do. Absolutely. Well, this Forbes contributor Kathy uh, Caprino recently shared the top five reasons that we trust the wrong people and see if we can all relate. It sounds yeah. like you could on oh, every yeah. point, mm -hmm. and I could as well. Number one, we desperately want to believe them, even though we know that what they're offering is almost too good to be true. Mm. I've fallen okay. for this, mm. anybody? Yes. Okay, Absolutely. wait. So, oh, I, yeah. so this is where I, I want to maybe tap into to see what you guys think. So I have a really good girlfriend, because this could be about friends, too. Oh, yes. so yeah. 100%. Yeah. Girlfriends, not just the relationship side of things, yes. but friends, friendships, too. Mm -hmm. So I think that I have I have a girlfriend that I really love and I adore and actually we've been friends for a really long time. She's a loyal person. I have a lot of trust for her, but I know where we're getting ready to go uh, with this. When they are the ones that are so close to you and love on you and give you a lot of love, yes. they kind of quickly can turn on you too. And oh so recently I'm seeing her doing that mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm, I think I'm at a point where I have to have a conversation with her. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like so many, too, too extreme. Yeah. So the love and friendship is super extreme. Right. But then at the same time when she wants to find fault or what she, she's, She's going she zero to flips 60. quickly, uh, and it's mm. it's almost like I trust her with so much and share my deepest secrets with her, my deep mm -hmm. my deepest emotions with her. Yeah. But it's starting to be held against me now. She's starting to pin it on me almost, like at times. Pin and I'm what? Pin what? Just what do you pin, mean? like pin like. Like uh, her opinion about me with with dating, for example, like right. she has, she's taking what you say and using it against, it against you. you. She thinks I get too. Mm -hmm. She thinks mm -hmm. that I, you know, get too close to guys, a little like, or give them a chance too soon. Too quickly. Right. See that to me, and that's she, again, that's a prime example of you've trusted her with so much yeah. information yeah. about your relationship, yes. and not that she's not a good friend or that you're trusting the wrong person, but maybe too much trust with too much information. Yes, yeah. it's, when it's, they that's what it is. It's right. what we mm -hmm. need to. That's mm -hmm. what we have to. Us yeah. trusting people have to figure out how to filter that. Maybe exactly. you're giving them 
Maybe even just back it off a little, a little bit, bit before you have that uncomfortable conversation. Yes. Yeah. I think of, I mean, that conversation might need to be happening. <laughs> yeah. I think and I don't blame you. She's watching right now. Yeah. yeah. All right. And she she watched you turn to camera 10. No, I'm kidding. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> no, and I, but I respect that because mm -hmm. you, at this point now, you know, you're a very honest, open, direct person. Yeah. But at some point, right, it becomes yeah. the pendulum is swinging too mm -hmm. much. Right. And now she almost feels like she's dangling, like, mm, yeah, I got some Yeah, and I don't like all the stuff that you've told me now. I can, I'm going to hold it against you. Hold it against it's like a somehow. power play. It's yeah. not really yeah. fair, honestly. And like it, with power play, there's a power gap that people look for. Mm -hmm. And I love that she said that in that article, a power mm -hmm. gap. Like not yes. my weakness, a power gap. Like I am a person full of power, but somebody found a gap. Yep. And for me, that gap was the, the wanting to be married and have that unit. Mm -hmm. So yes. he found that gap and he immediately rushed in. And that was one of the things that I, I loved about the article as well, is when they pour on so much so quick. Mm -hmm. Right. 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 Men yeah. or when women. They, yeah, pour right. on so much so quick and then you don't have time to really process it and think about it. And before you know it, you have been done. Yes. Right. yes. <laughs> and, that, right. and that was point number three, these power gaps. So yeah. it's that gap where we're lacking in confidence. Mm -hmm. We long to believe uh, things about ourselves. Mm -hmm and mm -hmm. about them and they just come in and they weasel oh, themselves yeah. into those gaps. Yeah. Nisa, would you mm -hmm. ever say that you've caught someone trying to do this? I know I have when it's been, when I've been in a vulnerable position, mm -hmm. when I wasn't mm -hmm. feeling my best self out in LA exactly. with work and, and mm -hmm. craziness and finances. And it's like that person was like, well, she's feeling very bad. They can bad. see it. They and can spot it. They can spot it. They can spot it. They can spot it. Master manipulator. You know what else it makes me think about when 11 Alive ran that story recently about the lady that gave that guy $80,000. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And so yes. many people were like, what could yeah. be wrong with her? How could How she do that? that? And I'm thinking, you know what? Yeah. She trusted the wrong person. Yeah. Yes. You're right. Listen, yeah. she You're was right. adult enough to have saved up 80 G's, mm -hmm. yes. so she couldn't have been all yes. that bad, yes. but mm -hmm. she trusted the wrong person, mm -hmm. right. and that's the kind of stuff that I, happens. I think yeah. that tends to happen with relationships the most. Oh that's my God, yeah. Relationships, I think, when people use the power grab, uh, I think advantage is usually in relationships. Yes. Like, yes. Yes. Yeah. like uh, even, um, you know, exes, when they try to come back around, mm -hmm. but they know they want to use their, um, they know you're in an emotional place and they want to push right. themselves back in. Yeah. So right. I think with relationships yeah. that tends to happen, but you know, you got to get wiser to be like, yeah, okay, yeah. just just don't even surround yourself with that at all. Right. Just my real life experience with it, I learned that to fill those gaps was to work on myself. Mm -hmm. Like for a minute, Ooh. I beat myself up mm. about that other person, I yeah, but no, then no. I had to come back and say, wait a minute, that What's was a gap that I left open. Mm -hmm. yes. So let me feel it. Like, okay, wow. I'm okay whether I'm married or not. Yeah. Yes. You know, I'm okay yeah. with my children being my family right. and not the husband right. for right wow. now. So nobody can come in and try to for infiltrate sure. in yes. a gap that isn't for, there for them anymore. For yeah. sure. I moved mm -hmm. here for the biggest master manipulator narcissist, wow. and oh, I was not in a good wow. place. And the best thing I did was move to a city where I only knew one person, <laughs> the producer got wow. me the job, mm -hmm. and could make new friends, but I'm exactly with you. Yeah. The it's best really advice good. somebody ever gave me when mm -hmm. you are in the position you were, I was, mm -hmm. any of we you, all, mm -hmm. um, yeah. is to live your best life. Yeah. And you know, you live an interesting life, and you'll meet interesting people, mm -hmm. and just focus on you Yourself. and then That's when you right. least expect it it will come it around. Will come around. Um, mm -hmm. One of the other reasons that they say that we we unfortunately seek out these wrong people is they they appear as if they're winners. Yeah. Oh, like right? Oh, right. They're yes. persuasive. Oh, yes. They're oh, charismatic. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah. And we feel good that these winners chose us. Chose their their perception. Perception. That's right. That's right. Yeah. What? Even Ever. so much as like getting on. Oh, really? I'm going to be on your Instagram page. Yeah. I'm going to be included in your social media. Yeah. Oh my It goodness. goes that far. It's yeah. sad. It even goes that far. Yeah. It does. Yeah. 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 And I'm telling you, I think I've said this a million times even on this stage that I am enough that is my mantra yeah like when I start feeling myself like oh Myra yeah. wait a minute I am enough yes. I love yeah. Myra but yeah. I'm enough yeah. yes. you know yes yeah all the way you around, like in way. friendships yeah. and relationships. Yes. Maybe, maybe you're listening and this is tapping into something you because it's a relationship with a mm -hmm. family member. Yeah. Um, oh. You know, we have a lot of Ooh. unfortunately master manipulators mm -hmm. in your that are, yeah. that are yeah. in our family. very yeah. own family. So mm -hmm. so and and right, and that oh that goodness. is the way it is. I'm, for, I'm sorry, did you say we have to wrap, Haley? Oh, oh no. <laughs> so good. Come on, Haley. Good. So we can this was a good this one. And we have a couple of more, two more points. I'll make sure that Trent posts this article because it yeah, helped me it was yeah, it helped as me. well too. Was and good, uh, good, great and read, of course great we want read. you to, to weigh in. But at the end of the day, I think we all yeah. re recognize it's sure. time and it's consistent behavior in people mm -hmm. that are going to help us mm -hmm. recognize these people that we can't or can't trust sooner. So very consistent very well. behavior. Very well. Yep. Yes. Yep.